Hello and welcome to Old Man Sailing. This is John Passmore and here we are in the North Atlantic and about 270 miles in that direction is Grenada in the Windward Islands and in that direction about 1600 miles behind us is Mindelo in the Cape Fairs which I left 17 days ago and everything was going fine until four days out when the rudder snock snapped. Now this is a huge bronze casting which connects the rudder to the tiller and one side of it broke. This had happened before and I've written about it on the blog if you want to have a look. But it left me with a bit of a predicament. I couldn't very well sail back to windward for four days. Well, it would be a lot longer than that. So I had to carry on. And uh, four days later, the other side snapped. Now I lashed it together first with one spanner and then with another one on the other side. And in the ensuing, what is it, 13 days, I've added more and more and more lashings. There are now 10. I've counted them. And uh, it's a bit of a Heath Robinson job, but it has got us across the Atlantic almost, almost. So let's go and take a look at it. There will be a certain amount of wind noise up here. It's not blowing very hard, but I've got about 10, 12 knots. And we're doing about four and a half or five through the water. So here it is. Let me just get over here so you can see it properly. Without falling off. All right, here we are. All right, let's take you from the front end. There is the, uh, the Aries chain for the wind vane self-steering. That's lashed as far forward as I can get it because that is pulling the tiller backwards. This here is redundant at the moment because that is pulling the tiller backwards when we haven't got the Aries chain on. So that's for hand steering or with the electronic autopilot. Uh, this is the pin for the autopilot and that uh, has got two lashings on it, one each side, which go to the back of these spanners. Now, there's a 18 mil spanner on this side, 17 mil on the other, so that they engage with the nuts. And they're lashed with two lashings at the front and two at the back. And uh, they have to be two at each end so that I can loosen one of them and retie it when that needs to be done. Uh, eventually I found that what was happening that the whole structure was dropping, the tiller end of it was falling out of the, the, the jaws at the bottom. So I've now got this little string here which pulls it up. So that goes over the top and that's pulling the spanners up on each side. Of course it is somewhat wiggly as you can see. Uh, it keeps opening and closing. I can't get it any tighter than that. But it steered us across the Atlantic and with any luck, it will get us all the way. There's the other side of it. And uh, I'll just take us back down below again so we can get out of the wind. Whoa! As you can see, we do roll. <laughs> I could show you some dolphins, but I haven't seen a single one. And I haven't seen a flying fish longer than a couple of centimeters. Uh, and there we are. So that's it. Now, uh, when I get there, I've got a decision to make because the obvious way to get into Kariaku, because when you go in to check into Grenada, it's much nicer to go to the island of Cariaco, which has, uh, I believe, 70 rum shops and one gas station, rather than going to the big island. So I shall check in at Cariaco. And the obvious way to go is um, just north of Frigate Island. And there's a little pass there, which is half a mile wide. 
and I was thinking that I could get through that even with my dodgy tiller half a mile in the mat is plenty. However, it does appear we're going to be arriving there in the middle of the night. And since the islands are not lit, um, I think I'll go further south and find a bit more space. So I'll then go up to Karaoke, check in, uh, have a few days there, and then uh, go down to go Prickly Bay, south of Grenada, and there is Spice Island Marine, and they did a very good welding job on some cast aluminium for me a couple of years ago, so I'm sure they can manage some bronze. Also, I have all sorts of repairs to do to the woodwork, uh, thanks to the knockdown uh, on the way from Falmouth to the uh, Canaries in October. Yes, I know October is a bit late for leaving, but I got delayed because of the water maker. Uh, so, um, I'll get all that done uh, there, or you can read about all that, of course, once again on the blog. It's oldmansailing.com forward slash knockdown, obviously. So there you go. Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to the next time.